Okay, here we are. The car has been sitting. It is 16 degrees out. We're going to see if the engine turns on at some point to heat me here. I have the temperature set to 70 now. We're on auto. Let's see what happens. manual says 14 degrees it turns on to provide heat as the heat pump cannot provide below that temperature I don't know if that's efficiently or just physically can't do it at all but let's see what happens it actually says it. let's go over here to our energy left to 19.2 miles let's just see here I would guess we'd have 19 or 22.1 miles to try so I'm guessing it's going to use 3.1 miles of electricity just to heat auto to blowing on my face because I am very cold. Expect the engine to turn on to 14. Some cruise control on. Oh, looks like our engine actually turned on right now. So, still 16 says 15 on the other thing. The engine is on. EV mode, you can see up there it still says EV mode. And the engine block itself is 23 degrees. It is using the engine to drive, it seems, but yeah, it's still saying EV mode. That's kind of interesting. The engine isn't warmed up, it's using it to drive. So in a second here we'll see what happens when the engine warms up uh, and see how it uh, goes back and forth uh, from EV to hybridish. Okay, what you see happen here is interesting. <clears throat> Almost as soon as the temperature of the engine gets to 131, it doesn't show it generating any kilowatts and then it uh, actually starts using electricity. So you see now we're back on driving EV mode even though the engine is on. It's not uh, then boom it switches back there. like now it looks like it's using all EV and the engine is kind of idling. Okay. Go on the hill here to see if it... Okay, there we go. It's just shut the engine off. We're going up a hill and it decided to shut it off. So we got up to 129 and it decided... Again, I don't know if that's because of the 
the temperature is now 17 and it, you know just wanted to give a little boost what exactly happens there so here we stay in ev mode for almost the rest of the trip another almost 15 miles and uh Heat's blowing nice. I still have it set in 70 degrees, blowing on my feet and my hands. That was a comfortable ride. You'll see the uh, engine's temperature is going down, so it's decided I guess it can use the heat pump to keep me warm. Must have just wanted a boost at the beginning to get the cabin up the temperature because it was sitting at 16 degrees. But uh, in about a minute here, the engine will turn back on. I'm not quite sure why that is it seems to be something about how much battery is left that it uh, once it gets low then it wants to use the engine for heat more often I don't know See the engine actually keeping a higher RPM than it normally does when it's idling. And right now we're stopping, so obviously we're using no gas power, and it's still higher than it usually is. So warm back up to 120 something again here and see if it cuts that off. very connected to the engine normally if you hit the gas and accelerate it's not like a regular car like it's very much like a regular car now where if I hit the gas my engine goes out in acceleration normally you hit the gas a little bit and it actually gives it a little bit of electricity to accelerate even when the engine's on or in hybrid mode or whatever or in EV mode if I hit the gas it's reacting exactly like a normal combustion engine it's interesting That makes me wonder if it's less of a heating thing and even more of a battery performance thing. My battery is 64, but I don't know. It seems very weird. I've never had it so directly linked with the engine like that before. So now the engine's off again. We got up to 129. It's still the same temperature as it. I don't think it's a temperature basis. I think it's more of a energy drawing. You know, it's got some sort of measurement that it uses to say, well, the air conditioning is taking more power than if we just turn on the engine, you know, some sort of efficiency standard they have set in. I'm sure it's measured by <clears throat> the voltage drops instead of um, actual temperature outside. So, uh, this is kind of the first time that I recorded that uh, the car actually needed to use the engine for heat, even though I had electricity left. So it's kind of interesting to see how it works. Uh, I've got a couple more videos coming up where uh, I drive in even colder temperatures, and uh, we'll see exactly what happens there. So subscribe if you want to see that. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, have fun.
there we go. Let's not forget to plug the car back in this time.